On November the 18th, 2001, the Flores family, accompanied by their three children, including five-year-old Alejandra Flores, entered a Walmart store in El Paso, Texas. Video surveillance from the store showed Alejandra playing in the store aisles with her brother and sister and later wandering away from her family. Surveillance also showed a single male subject enter the store at around 4.30 p.m., then exiting the store alone at around 5.07 p.m. Upon exiting, another security camera showed the male subject being confronted by a Walmart security guard for leaving his van running in the parking lot. At 5.13 p.m., the same male subject re-entered the store and exited at 5.15 p.m. with Alejandra. Based on the video surveillance, the male subject was 5 feet 5 inches tall, had dark eyes, was wearing a light-colored hat, a dark shirt, dark shorts, weighed approximately 182 pounds, and drove a van. Later that evening, at around 9 o'clock p.m., security video from a nearby 7-Eleven store showed the male subject entering the store and purchasing two 32-ounce cans of beer. At approximately 7.10 a.m. the next day on November 19, 2001, Alejandra's nude, partially burned body was discovered at the East Alley of 1220 North Oregon, 16 miles from the Walmart. A partially burned plastic bag covered her head. The medical examiner testified that Alejandra had two separate bruises on her skull that indicated two separate blows on opposite sides of her head. He concluded that Alejandra died from asphyxia due to manual strangulation and that she was already dead when she was burned. He later testified that an extreme amount of force was applied to Alejandra when she was strangled due to the amount of hemorrhaging found on her body. He found no evidence of sexual assault but did not rule out the possibility that she was touched. Physical evidence and latent prints were collected at the crime scene and from the victim's person. The medical examiner also found pieces of orange wedges in Alejandra's stomach, concluding that she more than likely ate the oranges within three hours of her death. Video surveillance at a nearby Sam's Club from November 18, 2001 revealed the male subject wearing clothes very similar to those worn by the male subject had purchased oranges while shopping with his father. A gasoline container was discovered in the male subject's van. DNA extracted from blood stains found in the van were consistent with Alejandra's DNA. The male subject's palm print also matched a latent palm print found on the plastic bag covering Alejandra's head when her body was discovered. <laughs>